Hey everyone, Kyle here. You're about to see how exactly how to turn a blank page into a published ready blog post in just under a couple of minutes here. We're going to be using Jasper.ai in this video to show you how you can start writing effective AI copywriting in just a matter of seconds. It's super easy to do, intuitive, and in my opinion, this beats out almost every other AI model out there. But without further ado, let's get into this demo. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do to get started with Jasper is use that link down in the description. When you click that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks something like this one. As you can see, you can get started with Jasper completely for free. You don't have to input a credit card and you don't even have to pay anything. You simply hit the start free trial button, which will take you to your sign up page where you can create your free account and get started with Jasper for seven days for completely free. You just enter in your email address, your first name and your last name and hit the continue button. Now, once you're inside of Jasper, this is the first page that you should see here. This is the Meet Jasper page. And this is where we're gonna start feeding in a little bit of information and it's kind of like the onboarding setup. As you can see, the first thing it's gonna do is ask us what industry does our company work in? We can say a couple of answers for here, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're working in the technology. I'll then hit the continue button, which will then take me to this next part, which is right on. What is the size of your company? Most of you doing this are probably at a 200 or below company, but if you're a big company out there, watching this, obviously you can go higher. I'm going to go ahead and answer for this. And then this will take me to the next part, which will be almost done. What kind of work do you do? And then you can say or specify the type of work that you are engaged in. For the sake of this video, we'll say we're in marketing. Hit the enter button here. And the very last question, which of the following best describes your marketing function? Or sorry, this is the second to last question. But again, we will say that for our marketing function, we will just say that it's based on social media. Most of you guys out there who are using this tool are probably doing social media marketing of some kind. So this is where things are going to be a little bit easier to understand. And what do you want to name your workspace? You can name this anything. I'll just call this test one. I'll hit the enter button and it will take a few seconds to set up everything properly. I can do my company name here. I'll just do a random company name. And then just like that, we can get into our workspace. Now, as you can see here, the first thing you want to do before you get started with your seven day free trial is select which of these pricing plans you want to go with. They have a creator plan, a pro plan, and a business plan. And you're going to save quite a bit of money here if you go with either the monthly or rather the annual option here, you'll be saving about 20% here. If you go to the monthly option, it is going to be a little bit more expensive as you can see. But we'll go ahead and go with the annual option to save that money. And we'll go ahead and go with the pro plan. That way we can get access to some of their latest and greatest features as far as AI image generation and editing goes. Once you select which plan you want to go with, it'll take you to the checkout page. You'll enter in your credit card details, your card number, expiration date, all that good stuff. And then hit the I agree button at the end and start your free trial. Now, once you're inside of Jasper, you can do a couple of things. You can click this start tour button, but for the sake of this video, go ahead and skip that tour because most of you aren't probably going to need it because you're only going to be focused on actually writing content inside of Jasper, which is well what it's made for. Now, as you can see here, I can go to the top left corner here and click on this purple button that says create content. There's also the option of typing in anything I can think of into this chat box right here with a kind of chat GBT like interface. I'm going to go ahead and hit the create content button, which will open up a Jasper instance for a text app. Now, as you can see here, one of the things that you can first do here is it'll open up what's called the library screen. Inside of this library screen, you can choose what are called categories to figure out if there are any applications that will go along with the type of content that you're trying to write. Things like content marketing, product marketing, social media marketing, and so on and so forth, as well as background removers and any other applications that could be useful in your overall writing. We'll show you how to add those on to your content in just a second here. But for the sake of this video, and just to show you the absolute basic way to use this, we'll hit the X button, which will take us into the actual content writing portal. As you can see here, the first thing it's prompting me to do is either press this plus button or press the X or forward slash button rather to tell Jasper what to write. So I'll hit the forward slash button. As you can see, it will pop up this little AI assistant here, and then I can start telling what Jasper I want it to write for. So let's say for this example, we'll give it a very, very easy thing. I want a short form content script written for a influencer to read for a skincare product that makes your, let's just say your wrinkles go away. Just as an example here, obviously this doesn't need to be, that's not how we, we got the influencer spelled wrong there. Once we have that all set up to go though, then we just hit the enter button. And then as you can see, Jasper wrote that in just a matter of seconds. And it wrote us this, it says, Hey everyone, are wrinkles giving you a hard time? Say goodbye to 
fine lines with this amazing skincare product. It's packed with powerful nourishing ingredients that target wrinkles, leaving your skin smoother and more youthful. It's super easy to use and fits right into your routine. Don't wait. Give your skincare the care that it deserves. Watch those wrinkles fade away. Try it now. Now you might be thinking here, this doesn't really sound like a very engaging script. It doesn't really sound human, right? This sounds like it's very much written by an AI. And one of the things we can do here to make edits to this is simply actually select all of this, pull up the Jasper button. And then as you can see, we can tell Jasper how to edit this. We can either improve writing, we can change the voice, we can change the length, repurpose content or translate it. There's also a new option here, which is turning text into an image, which actually comes with their new image generation software, which is only available on the pro plan, just so you guys are aware of that. But let's say for this example here, I want this script to sound a little bit more, maybe something like, and there's a ton of different things we can choose here. I want it to be more witty. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the witty option here, and we'll start making edits to this writing and make it more witty. Now, as you can see here, it's going to take some time to actually get this all generated and worked out. But once it does so, it will then give me a much more tightly written and more witty script that kind of conforms with what I'm more looking for here. Now, in the meantime, this is working. We can show you guys a couple of other things you can do and actually show you some more powerful tools to use inside of Jasper to make sure you're getting the best possible output. Now, the first of these, if we go up to the top left corner here, is going to be choosing your brand voice, which in my opinion, this is a really cool feature that I haven't really seen any other AI writing software use yet. Now, once we click on this choose brand voice button, we can actually upload a brand voice, which basically is going to be an entire document that's going to outline exactly who we are, what we do, what our products are, how we function as a business, our core principles, and pretty much anything you can think of that identifies us as a unique organization or as a unique individual, right? Because brands don't have to just be a business. They can be a person, right? Like a personal brand. Basically, you'll go inside of this and start doing all this detail so that way you can understand exactly, or that way Jasper rather can understand exactly who you are and who to talk to. So this is kind of how you can get those much more higher quality, better outputs that you could be looking for. Now, so one of the other things you can do is choose your audience, which this will also help Jasper in guiding you to figure out how we can speak to that audience in a way that they will easily read and understand it from a much deeper perspective, which can just in general really help with the overall copywriting process inside of Jasper. Now, one of the things that obviously this video is going to be heavily talking about is just that blog writing, which is something that many people don't have the time to do anymore, but it can be an incredibly powerful marketing tool as well as just an attention platform that you can build trust with users on, especially if you run a website or just anything you can think of. I want to show you a couple of interesting prompts that I worked up here that you can start using inside of Jasper to get some really good blog content for pretty much any niche you can think of. So I'm going to hit the backslash here and I'm just going to paste in this prompt here, hit the enter button. And as you can see, this is now giving me an outline for the top 10 remote work tools for 2025. And this was basically just based on a very simple prompt, which I actually worked up in chat GBT here, which is that you are a tech savvy content creator, write a clear keyword rich outline for a 1500 word blog post titled top 10 remote work tools in 2025. Now, as you can see, the next big step here is going to be copying that instant outline generator. And, and once it returns the outline, place your cursor under the first H2 and then go ahead and run the next one, which will be, of course, this. So then Jasper will start thinking and it will actually give me a fully written out conclusion here. Uh, we want the entire thing to be written out this way. And that's kind of one of the things you got to remember is that this doesn't work like ChatGBT. This doesn't work as a singular text box that makes edits to the entire platform. You have to go step by step, frame by frame here. So we'll head back to the top here, go underneath this second heading, which is going to be our introduction, hit the forward slash button, paste that in, hit the enter button, and then it will actually expand out our introduction to be a full length introduction. And we can do this for every single part of this writing. And one of the other things you can do if you head back to ChatGPT is that you can even get this to expand more and more and more as you find more things to look for here. Now, one of the other things that you can also do is build a brand voice profile. That way you have more consistent tone inside of your blog articles, of your posts and just of anything that you're doing with AI writing in general. Now, one of the things that we can do here is with the brand voice thing here, we can go inside of this, go and delete all of this, and then we'll just basically do the forward slash here, paste that prompt in to get the brand voice in here. And then as you can see, this will give us a quick little brand voice document 
that we can then go ahead and copy and paste this and then basically paste it inside of our brand voice file right here. That way everything is all within one centralized location. What other things you can do with this, if you go up to the brand guidelines tab right here, or this little button right here, you can click on this and you do have to upgrade to the business plan to do this, but this will basically be a really easy way for you to have a consistent style guide put inside of Jasper. That way you can consistently have good outputs that match your brand voice, that match your styling. And maybe you have a certain word inside of your brand that needs to be spelled a certain way, or maybe you have a certain set of principles that you never want to be violated in your writing. This is a really, really good way to stick to those guidelines. That way it never you know, falls outside of that. And it feels like you're kind of off base or off touch of what the actual point of your brand is. And this can be a really helpful way to kind of insert that as well. There's other things up here. Again, inside of the tools, we have word count, the ability to check plagiarism, all the typical things you would see in a Google Docs file for bold, italic, underline, normal text, all that good stuff. And it's also this little left hot bar here where we have the create button, the next button, the chat button, favorites button. Chat button's pretty helpful. This is actually kind of how you make it function more like chat GBT or like a popular LLM where you can actually just kind of type directly into this and then it will start building out your document step by step. And this is kind of how you make changes to the entire document rather than just individual lines or headings or things of that nature. So I could say like write a blog post, right? Just anything like that. I didn't even spell right right there. But um, again, we're just trying to go as fast as we can. Sure thing, share a bit more. We'll just say that it's going to be about remote work. Let's actually spell things right though. So that way it doesn't have to think about my spelling errors there. I'll write remote work here. And then just like that, it's optimized my content and boom, here's the entire blog post that then once this is all done, I can basically just copy this as you can see once it kind of gets down to the bottom here. And we'll just use these for example, for the sake of brevity. We'll paste this into here. And then just like that, we have this entire thing. And then if we want to make edits to this entire thing, we can just start typing things in like edit this, do that, make sure that this looks different, make sure that this looks different. And it will make those edits completely on the fly for you, which is very, in my opinion, very, very helpful. And pretty much that's it. That's everything you need to know about how to use jasper.ai effectively in your blog writing, in your content writing. I'd highly recommend checking out this tool with that link down in the description. You can get started completely for free and it's really got some amazing features that I'd highly recommend you guys start playing around with. Please keep in mind that the links down in the description are affiliate links and we could financially benefit from them at no extra cost to you. So thank you in advance for supporting more videos just like this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys in the future.